Tonight, an NBC6 investigation into Caribbean Cruise Line in Fort Lauderdale. It's more of a travel marketing company than a cruise line, and it seems to have merged in the awake of another business that got into serious trouble with the law. Bob Hernan signed up for a cruise, and he says he thought he was getting a good deal. A cruise for two nights and four days. If I took four people, it was only $59. And that was the only fee that was mentioned. In all, 84-year-old Bob Hernan paid $618, half of his monthly Social Security, for what he thought would be a great getaway with his daughter and two sons. My dad was really excited and really wanted to go on this vacation with the four of us. But the family says when they tried to book the cruise... There's $129 just to get on the cruise for processing fees. And it didn't stop there. Each person is paying gratuities, fuels, and fees. They range from 24 to 75 dollars. In the end, that $600 cruise was going to cost $1,600. Money Hernan couldn't afford. Daughter Mary Hernan did some cyber snooping. All I found was complaints. Complaints online, more than 500 at the Attorney General's office, which, by the way, says it is investigating the company, and more than 1,400 complaints with the Better Business Bureau, which gives it an F. Mary Hernan called Caribbean Cruise Line. We don't believe the package is what he expected it to be. We'd like a full refund. The customer service rep insults her. Sir, I'm not stupid. He refuses to refund the money. What the Hernans didn't know is that Caribbean Cruise Line is in the business of selling travel packages. It turns out people connected with the company have been in trouble for deceiving customers not once, but twice before. Who can I contact? And Robert Mitchell is the president. NBC6 investigators tracked down...